Hi, I'm Robert Vining and this is a Joomla Art Training video tutorial on Joomla 1.6 plugins. Joomla 1.6 comes with various types of plugins to extend the functionality and usability of your website. There's authentication, content, editors, system, user, and search plugins. We'll talk about each of these in just a few minutes. You can access the plugin manager in the extensions menu at the top. The panel comes with a search form and a filter by state, plugin type, and access level. This toolbar allows you to edit, enable, or disable plugins and also check in. To enable a plugin, just select it and click the Enable button from the toolbar. You can also use the icons in the Enabled column for the same purpose. For instance, we'll disable the plugin we've just enabled. Let's edit a plugin. To do that, select it and click the Edit button from the toolbar. You can do the same by clicking on the plugin name. For various reasons, you can reorder plugins just like modules. The code will be parsed in the order you set. By clicking the Ordering column header, the panel will display blue icons so you can reorder your plugins. Here's a quick example. We're going to change the order of the editor's extended plugins. See these buttons in the article edit screen? We can easily change their order. We're going to click the move up icon for button image plugin and the page will be automatically refreshed and plugins reordered. <laughs> Let's explore each of the plugin types. We'll start with authentication plugins. The Authentication Joomla plugin provides authentication functionality for your Joomla website. This means that your registered users can log in to your website with a login form. The Authentication Gmail plugin allows users to log into your website with their Google account. By default, this plugin is disabled, but if you choose to use it, you must set the suffix to Gmail or at googlemail.com. Additionally, you can set a user blacklist for security reasons. The LDAP authentication plugin allows your users to log in to your website with their lightweight directory access protocol account. The plugin allows you to set your LDAP account and various connection settings. Please read wikipedia.org slash wiki slash LDAP for more information. Content plugins apply mostly to content items. Let's have a look at each of them. The Joomla content plugin handles categories for core Joomla extensions. The load modules plugin allows you to load module types or positions within your content items. The plugin provides some options to determine the behavior of the module rendering, wrapped or no wrapping. Here's a few examples editing an article and using load module and load position. The Email Cloaking plugin was developed to protect email addresses used in your content against spam bots. You can set to use a mail to link or disable the link of the email address. The Code Highlighter plugin allows you to use the Geishi Highlighting Engine to display formatted code according to a specific coding language PHP, CSS, JavaScript, C, etc. The Page Break plugin allows you to create a table of contents for each of your multi page content articles. The options allow you to show or hide the site title, article indexing, set a custom index heading, show or hide the table of contents, and option to show or hide the show all link. The Page Navigation plugin enables the next and previous links for multi page articles. You can set the position of these links above or below the article page content. The Vote plugin allows your readers to rate articles. If you've enabled the voting for an articles category or specific article, this plugin will display the rate form under the article title. Editor plugins make it easy to edit content. You can use No Editor, Tiny MCE, or any of the third party editors like JCE. The Tiny MCE plugin provides several options such as editing functionality, simple, extended, or advanced, set a skin, enable compression, clean code, language selection, text direction, and other options. 
The Advanced Parameters tab allows you to configure the layout of the editor and enable or disable some of the editing tools such as tables, media, colors, font selection, etc. Generally, all parameters provide usage hints on mouse over so you can easily explore the capabilities of this editor. Extended plugins provide buttons to easily include article links or images, split articles into multiple pages, and add a read more link. Search plugins enable searching for keywords within category titles, contacts, content articles, news feeds, and web links. System plugins provide various functionalities for your Joomla website. Some of them manage SEF links, cache, debug, system log, redirects, and others manage language switch or user logout redirects. User plugins enable user synchronization for your website. Once enabled, they'll automatically create a new user account and contact page for each new member that logs in with a Google account. A new feature in Joomla 1.6 is the Profile plugin, which allows you to disable fields and set them as optional or required in the user registration page. The Contact Creator plugin will automatically create a new contact for each newly registered user. The options allow you to set a contact page using the name, username, or user ID, and then set a default contacts category, and finally you can set to auto-publish the newly created contact. The Joomla User plugin will automatically create a new Joomla user on each login with a Google or LDAP account. You have the option to enable or disable this automated process. A new plugin in Joomla 1.6 is the Extensions feature, which is to manage updates for core extensions. Well, that's it for the Joomla 1.6 plugins video tutorial brought to you by Joomla Art. I'm Robert Vining. Thanks for watching. Oh,